What's going on Nation and welcome to Tread Lightly Aerobic Burner. This is going to be a treadmill circuit I want you guys to do. Three exercises, three rounds, one minute per exercise. And what you're going to do is take little to no rest in between each exercise. And depending on your level of ability, this routine can be beginner or super advanced. Now, the three exercises you're going to do is going to be a sprint, a hand walk and a back pedal. If you haven't done these exercises before, I want you guys to go super slow on the treadmill, take your time, work on your coordination because you do not want to get hurt. Now there's also some sidebars on the treadmill right here that you guys can use, especially when doing the back pedals. And I have Sean with me because what Sean's going to do is help me keep track of each of the rounds while I do this. And if you guys haven't tried this routine before, you might not know what your speeds are for some of the exercises like your back pedal or the hand walks. Now when I'm sprinting, I can at least adjust this all on my own, but when I'm back pedaling or down here doing the hand walk, it's gonna be good to have somebody there with me to challenge me and see what I can actually do instead of me having to get up and try it and get up and try it, okay? You ready? Get up. All right, so I'm gonna do one round for you guys to show you what to do exactly, and Sean's gonna give some tips along the way and tell you guys some other things you can do on some of the exercises to make it more challenging. Speed it up. All right. Set program time. This treadmill was being a tough customer earlier, so we gotta uh, we gotta mess with it a little bit, but we got it down now, so it should be good. So first round is gonna do sprint for one minute. I'm gonna wait for it to speed up to 10. Oh, it doesn't count. All right. Ready? Yeah, once it's done blinking, it's 10. Set. Yep. So what he's focusing on here, just trying to have a nice long stride, trying to make it look easy. When you guys are sprinting, try to make it look easy. That's when you're gonna have your best form. So a nice long stride, you're going to kick through the whole way, kick it nice and high here, and you're going to reach with his legs forward, the more you lengthen your stride, the better it's going to be, the better your form is going to be. You can even stand up a little bit taller, and that will open up his hips a little bit more, just like that, good. At 30 seconds deep right there, we're going to go 30 more seconds, and you're just going to try to find his breathing pattern while he's in this. Scott can sprint a lot faster than this, but we're just going at 10 miles per hour for now because this thing was giving us a little bit of trouble at 12. Just like that. You wouldn't let me go 12. Yeah, nice long stride. Keep going for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jump off. Good. Put it on 2.5 start. Yep. So he's going to do a little hand walk out here now. <laughs> you don't want to get on too soon, so just like that, put your feet back a little bit more. Hands it off shoulder width apart. I'm going to slow this down for him a little bit and try to get longer here. Get your feet way back. Start that timer? Get your feet way back, not yet. Now I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel way more in your core like this. So yeah, exactly. So you get a lot of core work going on in here. Great circuit, great circuit. Awesome for cardio, obviously you're hitting some other muscle groups as well. And you want to keep those hands and shoulders apart, make sure they don't hit the edge outside of the uh, belt here, the edge. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Like three times. You want to make sure you have a controlled speed, you don't want to go flying face first into a treadmill. Not fun. Not a fun move. So we're at 2.1 right now. I'm going to just bring it up just a little bit for Scott because he's doing alright. It looks like he could use a little bit more. Speed. Now he's starting to feel the lungs a little bit. 15 seconds left, keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, come on up. Alright, so now he's going to get on and he's going to start going backwards. I'm going to increase the speed. Remember guys, use the handles to start if you've never done it before. We're going to go up to 4.0 right here. So there's a couple different ways he can do this. He can stay kind of tall and pump his arms. Do a smaller stride where he can make his stride a little bit longer here on the way back. There you go. A little bit more athletic. And then we can make it really athletic by getting a little bit lower and doing that long stride back. 
Have that long, there you go, just like that. Nice back pedal. Speed it up just a little bit for you. 30 more seconds. How's that? Fine. You want to straighten out the spine here. His, his back's trying to arch on him, or trying to go over, bend over. To make it really tough, stand tall again, and make a longer stride. There you go, good. Pump those arms. 10, 9, 8, long. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. So what you guys are going to do is two more rounds. Now what you want to do, like we said, is challenge yourself, but challenge yourself safely. So, Sean, thanks for the help and the timing. Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed this great routine. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.